All right, brothers. Let's get it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Weird, boys. All right, let's go. Go, 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 go. From Hawaii and it's day three of week five I have been slacking slacking real hard haven't done any training in like the past six five days or something like that and I'm super exhausted from this trip I did a lot of surfing I actually surfed every single day in Hawaii and the last day I surfed twice in the same day it was deadly I cannot wait to sleep today I am going to definitely take a long, long sleep tonight, try to recover well, and get right back into it tomorrow. I'm going to swim tomorrow for sure. Basically, I'm going to swim whenever I can. Like, when if there is a day that, like, the activities I'm definitely not going to be missing are the swimming ones. Swimming is very important that I do because... If I miss it, then that might mean I'm not going to be ready to swim in the middle of the ocean. And if I can't swim in the middle of the ocean, I might drown. And that's not good. I want to be able to comfortably finish the two kilometer swim and not be worried about drowning in the middle of the ocean. So I'm going to prioritize the swim training over everything if I'm missing stuff. So tomorrow, swimming for sure. And possibly tossing a run. Foot is feeling good, I think, but I don't want to push it too hard, so I might do a really short run, like two miles, or maybe a, maybe a bike ride. We'll, we'll see how we're doing tomorrow. But all in all, beautiful trip to Hawaii. I know I didn't really talk much in the other videos, but I didn't really have a chance. I was just super busy the whole time, but great trip. Would recommend for anyone else that's thinking about going to Hawaii. And yeah, 
this is actually week five now like six five weeks out of 16 i'm almost a third of the way there wow i don't know if i'm ready but i'm gonna still keep pushing through good morning everybody we're here day four of week five and i just got 11 hours of sleep felt beautiful so today got a swim coming up and was supposed to do a run but the heel the heel really hurts i have no idea why but this part right here just feels like i have a bruise and it really hurts to step on it so just having injury after injury here really annoying so i'm, I'm gonna take it take it light no run today maybe we'll do a bike ride in the evening we'll see how i'm feeling but swim coming up I'm gonna stretch right now and off we go we are done the swim i i swam 1200 yards yeah and it was pretty tiring not super horrible i did like 400 yards 400 yards then 200 200 so it was pretty all right it took me 27 minutes nothing nothing crazy it is the first day back swimming for like a week now so wasn't expecting too much felt decent um, i also did some swimming with just the legs so holding the paddleboard and just kicking and the legs are really tired like i would swim about 100 yards and they couldn't do anymore so i think i need to work on the legs possibly so gonna try doing that for a bit Maybe like before I start the actual distance, I'll do some some leg kicking with the paddleboard and hopefully get the legs up to speed. All right, I did a nice little short 40 minute bike ride at the gym today and it felt all right, it wasn't amazing. Went at a 19 mile an hour pace and you know, I finished it, it felt good. And did a bit of a workout too, did some abs, did a little bit of a push ups, little pull ups felt pretty decent tomorrow I got a huge day ahead of me I'm going swimming in the morning then I am going I'm going surfing mountain biking and then rock climbing and then for the last day my rest day I'm going skiing so um lots of activities hopefully that will help with my training even though it's not totally related mountain biking is kind of related so we'll see how it goes good morning everybody this morning, we're going for a swim with my half triathlon buddies. They finally made it out here to California. And uh, Jesse over here is a swimming professional. Nope. He's, <laughs> he's very, gonna, very far from that. He's going to teach uh, me and Kyle over here how to swim mm -hmm. today. So off we go into the pool. So um, I got to the pool and realized I forgot all my swim stuff. So on my way back right now, on my way back to get my stuff and... <laughs> We don't got much time to swim, so that's unfortunate. Here we go, got our stuff and um, ready to go. <laughs> and we are back. Good news, Jesse has uh, has approved of my form, so I've not been wasting the past six weeks of training. I'm very excited. Looks like uh, we might actually finish the half iron man. It's gonna be a long paddle, but I got it.
All right, we are off for a bike ride with Jesse today. Hello. Our, uh, the other half Ironman competitor, competitor, yeah, that's the word. All right, Jesse, are you ready for this bike ride? <laughs> so ready. You look very prepared. I like the, the full highlighter outfit. She's got the, the sunglasses. Where is it? <laughs> Not even her helmet. And we're rolling the, uh, the mountain bike pedals on this bike right now. Yep. So, and she doesn't Not have clips pants. and shoes. And she's wearing my shorts. So this is going to be a good ride. We're going for a, I think it's about 17 miles today. This is your first time ever riding a road bike? Yep. All right. <laughs> this should be interesting. All right. We have made it. <laughs> Barely. We have made it 8.3 miles oh at a 12.4 mile an hour pace. How are you doing, Jesse? Dying. <laughs> that was your first bike ride? Horrible. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, we have switched goggles. She's now more aerodynamic. My shoes are the wrong size, so <laughs> my feet are breathing right now. So what have you learned? What's your, what's your experience like? Get better equipment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. Hopefully we make it through the whole ride. We got like nine miles to go and a big climb ahead. How was your ride? The downhills are scary. They are very scary, but when you feel more comfortable and stuff, you can imagine how much fun it is going fast down them. Yeah. All right, the, the bike ride is done. Jessie has survived. I survived. And uh, she's, she's looking good. She's not even tired, you're not even sweating. Look at her. <laughs> going very slow. See, she thought it was easy. This is gonna be a, a breeze, right? The half Iron Man? Oh yeah. <laughs> so this is week five done. I'll be the what is it, 11 weeks to go before the big event? Yep. This is exciting. We're uh, we're hopefully gonna be, be ready for it. Not yet, don't cut away yet now. We had a surprise plan to uh, to run now. We thought we I thought I was done with the training, but apparently Kyle and Jesse want to run. So we're out here running. Kyle's excited to run. Jesse's excited to run. He's very burned from the surfing. <laughs> and uh, we're off to go to a run. Kyle is going to be Kyle's much faster than both of us, so he's going to go alone. I'm hopefully going to keep up with Jesse, but probably not. So off we go. So, I have just finished two miles, and it took me 23 minutes. The pace is really slow, and I honestly feel like I'm just relearning how to run in these shoes. So, let's talk about what I'm learning here. I think I, I did the half marathon way too early in these shoes. I need to take it slow, get used to running in these shoes again, and build up really slowly. So. My training plan right now requires me to do like four miles, six mile, like seven miles, nice 10 mile runs. I honestly do not think I'm ready and I'm just gonna hurt myself. So I'm gonna slow it down, do like two mile, three mile runs until it feels comfortable. And then I'll maybe move on to the distances near the end. But right now I think it's just ridiculous to push myself too much and possibly hurt myself. 
because as soon as I push too hard, I feel like my form maybe is going wrong. I'm not, I'm not used to running like barefoot. So everything is just not quite how I'm used to running. Like, I mean, I haven't run in barefoot shoes my whole life. I've run in padded cushioned shoes for my entire life, basically, until now. So it does make sense that this should be a long transition. So I think from now on, I'm gonna basically run with how, or judge my runs on how my body's feeling. And if it's too much, I'm just gonna stop it because hurting myself is definitely not worth it. So let's see how it goes on from here. <laughs> 